Getting strong is never a bad thing. Hello everyone, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense. And from time to time, if you follow this channel or you follow me on Instagram or Twitter or whatever, uh, I will post either screenshots of like my workout for the day or clips of me working out or whatever. And uh, I've been thinking about that recently and, and just about what, I mean, why do I do that? One, because it's, it's, I work out and I enjoy it and I want to share that with you. But two, like, like why are we working out, right? Like this isn't a workout channel. This isn't a fitness channel. I'm not going to lecture you about the evils of seed oils. Uh, although seed oils are very bad, you shouldn't eat them. Uh, and I'm, we're not gonna go in depth on that, right? And talk about natural soaps and, and like, I'm not a health channel, right? I'm not a fitness channel and I don't wanna be. But there's, there's a lot of crossover between Minuteman uh, gun stuff and physical fitness. And I was just thinking about this the other day. I'm like, well, well why is that important? Like what, what's really the value there, you know, for, for the physical fitness stuff for us Minuteman gun people, right? And uh, I mean, the answer I think is, is fairly obvious or self-evident, but just in case, let's talk about this. Uh, recently, I was at a uh, expo, I was at a preppers expo to um, hawk my wares for uh, uh, some chest rigs and bandoliers and stuff. And um, out of the people that came up to my table and you know, looked at stuff, I don't know, I'm gonna go 70% were overweight. And 30% were like massively overweight. Now I'm, I'm totally spitballing here, okay? It's one event in one place. But I mean, if you walk around America in general, the vast majority of people are, are overweight, right? And not just like, oh, they're a little heavy, but like mm, they're substantially overweight. They could stand to lose 30 pounds and they wouldn't miss it, right? And then there's, there's an extra category above that, right? And when it comes to Minuteman, you know, fighting stuff, physical fitness becomes a very big deal, right? One of the things that militaries, at least the United States military has done for a very long time now, is it has an emphasis on physical fitness, right? And that standard has continued to get, get higher and higher, and the more elite of a unit you are in, right, the higher the physical standards are, right? The, the, any fighting unit has a good physical standard, and the elite fighting units have an elite physical standard. Well, why is that? One, I mean, if you look at stuff like uh, buds or the seals or stuff, they use a lot of that to weed people out, right? We're gonna make this very physically difficult so that we find the quitters early so we can weed them out from the program, right? And that makes sense. But two, there, there's, there's a practical aspect to that, right? And the practical aspect is uh, fighting um, is physically exhausting and has been since time immemorial, right? Since we left the garden and we've started fighting wars, fighting is physically exhausting. Right? Ask an MMA fighter, ask a boxer, ask a wrestler, ask a jiu-jitsu practitioner, ask a soldier, ask anybody who's done any kind of fighting for any kind of length of time, and they'll tell you fighting is exhausting, right? It just, it just is, it's the nature of the beast. So being physically fit, it, it behooves us. And, and if you're serious about this, right? And you have, you know, you have the cool Spectre chest rig and, and you got some cool gadgets and you have a really nice rifle and you go shooting and you work on your dry fire, but you're not physically fit, and I'm using pretty loose terms here, okay? Well, that's, that's a problem, okay, that's a problem. Because physical fitness becomes the foundation for all of that. Now, I'm not saying you can't be a fantastic shooter and be overweight. There are lots of very fantastic shooters that can shoot much better than I am that I've taken classes with that are overweight, okay? And I think, ah, you know, you're probably, your physical fitness isn't up to par, but you're a very good shooter and I can learn something from you here, and, I'm glad you're on my team, right? Like that's absolutely 1000% a thing. I'm not saying you can't be good at shooting and not be physically fit. What I am saying is that physical fitness provides the foundation for all Minuteman oriented soldiering, whatever term you wanna use here, stuff, right? Again, ask anybody who's uh, done any of the fighting stuff, they're gonna tell you, yeah, that's pretty important, right? Uh, it, it's also why you have a natural disdain when you see out of shape, overweight police officers, right? You see them and they're out of, out of shape and overweight or whatever, and you think, I can take this guy, right? You're not intimidated, you're not fearful, and you have immediate disdain. Why? Because you inherently connect fighting and fitness, and you know, you know those go together inherently in your brain, right? So I would ask you to take a look at yourself, take a look at your own life, now listen, Listen, this, this, this can be an endless road to perfection, all right? And I'm not here to do that. 
uh, you know, if you want to say, well, Dylan, you're fat, that, that you're the problem, and then okay, you know, we can, we can talk about that. But my point is, you have to have that foundation level of physical fitness. If you can't put your kit on and go walk through the woods for a couple of miles without feeling completely gassed at the end of it, that's a problem, right? If you're not, if you're not regularly doing something, I heard once, uh, the bill for being fit is due every day. And I really like that phrase. I think that's really, really good. Uh, so my point is if you're not physically active and you're not doing something to put in that work, to really push yourself past your limits, either you know with what your deadlift is or your bench press or like your VO2 max and you're just hitting that assault bike or you're running around the block or whatever. If you're not doing something, that's a problem. And I would say, hey, do something, right? On any given day, in my, in my head for Minuteman preparedness stuff, there are three categories I like to hit, right? Fitness, dry fire, Bible reading. If I can get all three of those in a day, man, that's winning. I'm, I'm doing really well. Not often can I do that, let's be honest, right? There's just time and there's work and there's family and there's whatever, like not often can I do that. But I'm trying to find a balance between those three things, right, in order to build my body so that I'm not turning into a fat loaf who can't carry gear and do stuff, keep my skills sharp, right? Make sure my dry firing is reading, my dry fire is working and I'm, I'm up to par with my, dry, my uh, draw times and you know, all my reloads and whatever, all that stuff, right? And then my Bible reading because I want to be uh, morally and philosophically grounded in reality, right? And I need those three things to, to help keep me sane. So those are the three things that I'm trying to balance. And physical fitness, it's, it's a third of that puzzle, right? And if I'm honest, it's probably the one I spend the most time on. That might be good, might be bad, whatever, but those are the facts on the ground. And it's important to be able to have that base level physical fitness so that again, if you're gonna go out and take a class or you're gonna go out and uh, train with your boys, that you can do that and you can get the most back from that time possible. It's really easy to buy stuff it's really hard to go put in work, right? I remember I was at a uh, class a couple of years ago and uh, we were going out on a, on a patrol and one guy was just so out of shape. I mean, we probably got like 200 yards out, maybe 400 yards out and he just quit. He just turned back and said, oh, I, I, can't, I can't do this. Super overweight guy, you know, probably had other physical issues in part because of his being overweight, right? But I just thought, Man, here you are at this like three day class and you can't, you can't even make it 400 yards. Like you've wasted your time and your money, right? Because you didn't invest in yourself earlier to prepare yourself for where you're at now. And I don't want that to be you. I don't want that to be you where you're not, you're not making those preparations, right? So we can talk about, about prepping and, and you know, buying all the right stuff and the gear and the foods and the bags and whatever, or buying all the good ammo and making sure your rifle's zeroed and making sure that draw time is smooth and et cetera, et cetera. But if you don't have that base level of physical fitness, it's gonna be harder. Now again, what exactly is that? What does that mean? I'm gonna leave that up to you somewhat. You're, you know, you know, if you know that you're like, yeah, all right, well, okay, I guess I could lose 30 pounds, I wouldn't even notice. Like, I, well, I'd notice because I feel better, but I wouldn't, it wouldn't like, you know, be a bad thing. Well, then, then, then you know, right? And if you're like, well, no, I mean, you know, I, I'm adequately this and my numbers are up on my lifts here and my running times are down here or whatever, well, well then you know, okay? Build that base level of physical fitness. It's the foundation on which we're laying our dry fire and our skills and our knowledge and our ability to do stuff in this whole Minuteman world. This is probably a longer sermon than is needed. However, uh, I think it's really, really, really important. Uh, and not only that, it's, it's just gonna improve the general quality of your life. Uh, for everything else, you know what I mean? Being able to uh, move a couch is a lot easier when you're strong, okay? So, I hope that gives you something to think about and you're like, oh yeah, that, that is important. I'm gonna make that a priority. The only way it's gonna happen is if you make it a priority because it just takes time. It doesn't take a lot of time, you know, maybe a half hour, five days a week, maybe an hour, five days a week, something like that. Uh, it doesn't take a ton, but it does take time and investment, and effort and work, put it in, you're gonna get the payoff and you're gonna be glad you did. Do brave deeds and endure.